Hi, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to use a mini ME to do a split key to perform a black and white effect. Now, for a lot of IMAG uh, facilities, we want to create um, a tone and a mood. So sometimes for certain video that we're doing, we actually want the screen to, uh, to be done in a black and white look. Um, this, this comment and topic has come up a few times on the community, uh, and there has been write-ups on how to do it. But we thought we'd take a, a quick moment to just try and show you uh, how we do that. Okay, so we're here and we have our mini ME. So mini ME3, program ME, mini ME3 is currently feeding my onset monitor, so my big iMag screen. Now, obviously, I can you know transition between different sources in that screen, but we kind of want to take program and we want to colorize it so whatever I do on program gets this keyed effect on this monitor. So how do we do it? Well for starters we're going to start with black because we want to create a black and white effect. Now the easiest way to do this is you key to white and you do a split key. So to do that in key 2 of my mini ME I'm going to use the color background. And this matte generator, right, I can go ahead and say, I want to load white. So now white has been loaded to the matte generator. And if we cut it on air, we see white. But we want to split it so that we can create a, uh, an alpha source. So if you take your auto key and you hold down the keyer, auto select type, and now I select program. So now what I've done is I've split this key at a 50-50 split right now, meaning 50 clip, 50 gain, and we've now split to that color mat generator. So here, the color mat generator, as you can see, is now giving us a nice black and white effect. And you can adjust your gain to create you know, a, a, a washed out look or a more um, uh, sepia type look. And here you have full control using clip as well as gain to dial in the look that you like. Now what's also nice is if I'm using the always on air feature, so since Mini ME 3 feeds my screen, it's actually always on air and I want it to drive tally accordingly. So now if I store this memory using memory AI to memory 9, and hit enter. Now this is great because say my mini ME is doing nothing, right? Or I shouldn't say do nothing, but it's not set up, but I was using it to perform these types of effects. Now I know I want it to transition down to the program ME in that black and white look. So if I recall that effect, you'll notice it didn't break the current state of the of the mini ME output but it set it up and put it into preview for me automatically so that now we can dissolve to our program ME. And so now, as we do things on our program ME, right, everything is now being performed with that black and white look applied to it. So it's a really easy way to do that. Now, if I want to transition gracefully out of the black and white back to program, I simply just select it in my preset bus and dissolve the key in the background. And now, we'll slowly transition ourselves from black and white back into color. So it's a real easy way to do it. Um, it's very simple to set up, and you can perform it with any keyer, because you're just using a linear key. Now, one little bonus point that I'm going to add is you can apply, actually, any color filter you want. So if I use that same process, and we just look at that in black and white, if you go to that color mat and you start playing with your saturation and your hue, you can actually colorize this any way you like. So you can create a colorized element by using that color mat generator and not just using a white. 
So thanks for having the time to take a look at this tutorial. And as always, if there's any other ones that you'd like to see us do, uh, please uh, send us a note at switchers at rossvideo.com, and we'll be sure to get one out as soon as we can. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.